Okay, we are on air and live. Good morning, ladies, gentlemen, pursuiters, and scratchers. My name is Evan. I'm the community manager for Pursuitery.com. Joining me today is Mickey. Say hello, Mickey. Hey. You know, it's not a geek out until you see that camera switch to the other person. So, uh, anyway, today is our Scratch show and tell. We're going to highlight some projects from our fifth challenge, game publishing. And I uh, cannot believe this is the end of session one and the end of the session one geek outs. Just want to go ahead and thank absolutely everybody who has come aboard. And so we're just very excited to see about everything. We're actually getting a little behind in assessments, but we'll be back on it today because we've gotten so many amazing, amazing projects. But if you want to join in on the fun, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a quick breakdown of how to get in and participate. Ooh. After I start having this Arctic freeze blow over every, everything in my apartment. But so if you want to join in the fun, you're just going to need to go to Pursuitery.com, which you can see written out below my name. And uh, you can create an account there, and you'll be eligible to join any of our Scratch game challenges. Um, you're also going to need a Scratch account, which you can get for free on scratch.mit.edu. So you're going to need a Pursuitery.com account. Again, there you go. And a Scratch account, which you'll get for free at scratch.mt.edu. All the coding with Scratch, Phone Our Nation, and Camp Minecraft challenges at Pursuitery.com are free. F-R-E-E. -E. So get in on that one, please. So there are five challenges for coding with Scratch, and our challenges will run until August 24th. We announce a new one every Monday morning, and for some of you who are wondering what's going to happen is we're just going to cycle around to the challenges again starting on Monday and going up until August 24th at 11.59 p.m. PDT. So that basically means if you get your challenges in and complete all five, by August 24th, 11.59 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, as the pursuit offices are in California. But we like to think we're all over the world. If uh, you get everything in by that time, you will get the Scratch Digital Ninja badge. However, for all of you who are wondering, we are having a Makey Makey contest, and we will continue to have the Makey Makey contest uh, during Session 2. So... Not only are you still eligible for this week, but if you start entering the challenges for session two starting next week, by Sunday, Sunday night for each challenge at 11.59 p.m. at Pacific Time, you will be eligible to win a Makey Makey. So for those of you participating in this week's game publishing challenge, which has been an absolute blast, your entries have been amazing. Some of you definitely have great futures ahead of you as game designers, writers, and publishers. To be eligible for the Makey Makey contest and get your hands on a Makey Makey or have the chance to get your hands on a Makey Makey, have your entry in by 11.59 p.m. PT on July 20th. So that's this Sunday at July 20th, 11.59 p.m., uh, right before midnight in California. If you have your entry in and completed, you'll be eligible to win the Makey Makey. And we're going to announce that on the Prize Time Geek Out next Thursday at 10 a.m., which Mickey hosts, and I get to kick back and just look at games, which is always great. And that's how it's going to go for Session 2 as well as this one. But this is the last last geek out and the last couple days for Session 1. And uh, we're very excited about it, so that'll definitely get you going. So there you go. Uh, get over to Pursuitery.com, and you can always hit us with questions at Coding with Scratch, which you'll also see here in my name. That's our Twitter hashtag. We have forums now as well. And we'll have some Scratch questions there. And you can always visit our Scratch studios. I think if you look at, uh, Mickey's got the link written there, intr.st forward slash Scratch Studio 5 will get you to the Game Publishing Challenge Studio. So you can see what our judges are up to. And if you, pardon me, our coaches are up to. Our judges, we can't tell you where they are. They're a very mysterious bunch. It's somewhat like... Uh, mm, some kind of superhero team as far as our judges go for assessing everything. But uh, if you have questions, it's a great place to go. So this week, we're going to present some highlights from the many, many challenges we've received. First off, again, thank you to everybody who's participating. Thank you for everybody who sent in challenges, everybody who sent in games, everybody who's given advice, everybody who's given us feedback at uh, both online and offline. We've do some work at the libraries at the Los Angeles Public Library. Thanks to all the librarians. Thanks to the teachers. Thanks to the coaches. And thanks to you, of course, the pursuiters and the scratchers for doing such amazing work. The support's been overwhelming, and 
we're generally moved by it. But we're going to break down some of our favorites from this week and some of the submissions we've seen this week. We don't have time to present everything, but it's been so exciting to look through everything and all the games and all the stuff that's come our way. It's been truly, truly invigorating, and we want to give you all props, thanks, and kudos. So all these challenges today, again, come from our Scratch studio on scratch.mit.edu, and uh, you can see, again, the link is below Mickey's profile there. Um, we'll get you to the Scratch studio. And these are just games that people have submitted to us via our Scratch challenge page at Procedury.com. I'm just going to keep pointing into it until we get a million hits. And uh, we're going to go ahead and break down some of the games we received over the past couple weeks for the Game Publishing Challenge, which is a challenge wherein everybody gets to market and brand their game. And, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead. Uh, Mickey's going to do the driving and some screen sharing here. And let's first check out... Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. This is... the. Uh, Oh, there we go. This is the AquaDrop publishing game by AquaDrop. So let's go ahead and hit uh, begin here. You can see the credits and the instructions. And as required for the challenge, there's a high score button. And essentially, <laughs> it's a very crafty one. Um, you just hit the button as many times as you can. Oh. And so there you go. It's um. This is very much like an experimental art game I've seen once, where the whole point was you get up to 10,000 button clicks, and people put it out there as a, at a game conference as a joke to see how many people do it, and they would literally just come back every now and then and see people just clicking the button over and over and over again <laughs> to see <laughs> who would do it. But uh, that's AquaDrop's entry, and uh, I actually think the design is really great, and so kudos there. Um, that's the AquaDrop publishing game by AquaDrop, which includes uh, the instructions, includes sound effects, and as well as a high score and uh, credits list. So, kudos. There we go. That's the first uh, game we're going to feature this week. Next up is Seeker. Yes? Okay. So it's interesting. It uses a, uh, uses a username block, so you can actually type your username. Here's the uh, intro pages, and you see the instructions as well. Here's the credits. All right. There you go. Click to play. Let's go ahead and start this up. Very cool old school arcade intro. And you're... <laughs> and hear, the, hear the homemade sound effect. Somebody somebody with a straw. Um, <laughs> keep going, Mickey. You, you can do it. And... Uh, you can maybe see it in this live stream, but the control here is very smooth. And uh oh, that may be a problem. Oh, there you are. Ten points, and you see the high score list. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's a fun game. I really think that's a inventive piece of work here by Seeker. Oh, pardon me, by oh, good luck pronouncing this. Let's give this a shot. Four nine three P K M N S. So congratulations, you did a great job with Seeker. Uh, I really do recommend that everybody. We'll post some links to these on our Twitter feed that everybody give these games a spin, especially this one was a ton of fun. And the next one is one of my absolute favorites. Um, this is Heartbreaker by Scratch Maestro 12. And um, this is an example of some of the people who have been asked this, like, do I have to make a brand new game? Can I work an early game? Can I remix a game? All those are valid options for those of you who are entering into the challenge this week or entering into the challenge by August 24th at 11.59 p.m. PDT because you want to get your Scratch Digital Ninja badge. But this is cool because it's a remix of an earlier game. They just did add everything else to it. And I'm hoping the sound comes through because it's totally worth it. So this is by, uh, you see, Caroline here, so let's press start and check it out. Oh, the countdown. Okay, so uh -huh. as you see, you're essentially running through to get the uh, running through to get these hearts. Oh, wow, you're you're in trouble. You're in trouble. <laughs> wow, your your score, Mickey, is minus sixty five thousand. <laughs> That's that's well over negative nine thousand. Uh, wait, no, <laughs> hello. It doesn't work as well, does it? But uh, this is a fun game, and the uh, the music is a really cool, meaty version of an old uh, of an old, uh, I believe, Pat Benatar song. Um, 
which may not be coming through in the live stream, but uh, excellent job by Scratch Maestro 12. And you can see what's interesting there is that part of the challenge is to include instructions, and the instructions here are actually after the game ends, so you're sort of you're sort of thrown back into the mix of trying to figure it out yourself, but that's a valid approach as well. Remember, there's many ways to uh, there's many ways to dance the tango. I don't know if that's actually the right phrase, Mickey. Please, please forgive me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but but uh, those are that. yeah. It's, I, like I don't want to talk about skinning something. It seems so negative. Um, <laughs> we're happy people at Scratch and Pursuitery. And phone our nation and camp Minecraft. We're we're cheery folks. We don't want to talk about weird stuff. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but anyway, then again, thanks to all of you who entered and to everybody who has worked on coding with Scratch and sent us our games and information and offered up help and advice and um, just answered us on the forums and on the mailing list and via Twitter. It's been a, a wonderful experience so far. Uh, it's hard to believe that session one is coming to an end in a few days, but we still have five more weeks of session two, and we're really looking forward to everything. And, you know, there's a lot of people have asked, like, hey, I'm interested in other stuff. What's going on? Can I work still work on coding with Scratch stuff, check other stuff out? Please go to Pursuitery.com because we have a whole bunch of great uh, links coming up. We have a whole bunch of great challenges and geek outs. We're doing stuff with electronics. We're doing stuff with uh, retro video games. We're working on the Metal Gear remake geek out for next week. That's to be very exciting to talk to the developers there. We're working on tons of Minecraft stuff. I have to spend a lot of free time playing video games. It's it's hard work, but uh, I'm, I'm doing it for you. We're doing that as well as the lovely digital storytelling challenges and photography challenges through Phone Our Nation. And again, if you have any questions, please get at us via the Scratch forums. Uh, you can see the links via that at Pursuitery.com. And the challenges for next session are going to go live on Monday, very early Monday, after the deadline on Sunday night, which is, in case you forgot, 11.59 p.m. PDT. If you're going for that makey makey, get it in by then. If not, you can go until August 24th, 11.59, if you just want to go at your own pace. But get all your challenges in and complete, and you'll get the Scratch Digital Ninja badge regardless. And uh, I want to go ahead and make the, uh, the, sp the special announcement, the announcement that uh, makes me feel a little sad. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is going to be our last regular Coding with Scratch, uh, almost daily geek out, because we've been doing four a week. And uh, basically, we're all ready to go for the next session. You've got all the geek outs, you've got all the details. We're updating some information here and there. We're going to add in some more some more little notes and some hips and tips from both our Scratch coaches and some people who are helping us on the Scratch side of things so you can have a clearer time of what's going on. But, you know, we've done so many geek outs and we've gotten so many questions via the Scratch forums and via the Coding with Scratch studios that we think it's time to sort of put the focus back on working on the games and helping people out with that. Again, we will always be available to answer questions via the Coding with Scratch hashtag or the Scratch Coaches Studio or the Pursuery.com forums. I almost called them Borums, and that's definitely not what we do. And uh, we just want to go ahead and say thanks to all of you for that. And it's been a great pleasure and a great honor. Uh, again, nothing can s stop you from hosting your own geek outs or asking for geek outs about coding with scratch on Pursuri.com. We will make ourselves available as always. And again, for all the submissions and all the props and all the help and the respect and all the stuff that everybody has done with regard to coding with scratch and the rest of our summer challenges, we thank you so very much. It's been a ton of fun and we look forward to seeing what everybody's up to. However, with that said, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not completely over because you know what? We have a prize time geek out every week, and that's going to be going on until I believe uh, August is August twenty fourth or the first, the last one. We'll be doing at least five more. Yes. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got the prize time geek out going on every week where we'll uh, show off the games, so let everybody know what's going on with that. So that's going to be at Thursday, 10 a.m. PDT. So that geek out's going to keep on going, but um, that's going to be it for session one of Coding with Scratch uh, game publishing show and tell geek out. So that's going to do it. Uh, Mickey, do you have anything you'd like to add? Oh, yeah, I was just going to say that... Um those prize time geek outs will go the last one will be after August 24th but uh, there are five more prize times or six yeah because there's one more for session one 
Okay, good. For half a second there, I was like, no prize time? But I knew that was not, <laughs> I knew that was not the case, and uh, we will have the listings, as always, on Pursuri.com. You'll see that. So on behalf of myself and Pursuri.com and everybody else, we'd like to thank you. Uh, Mickey, please feel free to say goodbye as well. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for trying in your challenges. It's been really awesome uh, looking through your games and just seeing your improvement. And it's just great to see what you guys can do with your scratch skills. And I really encourage you guys to move on with coding because really knowing how to make a game is a lot more fun than just playing them. So it's a great skill to have. All right, thank you very much. Just want to let you have the last word on that and not speak for you because, you know, it's such a special day here. Um, everybody, please check out Pursuri.com. Jump on Coding with Scratch. Jump on Camp Minecraft. Jump on Phone or Nation. Have yourself a blast, and thank you so very much. We will see you very soon. Get your challenges in as soon as you can so you can be eligible for that Makey Makey. We'll give it away next week at Thursday, 10 a.m. PDT. Goodbye. Have a great weekend. <laughs>